leaving the North Channel here this morning, heading back into Lake Huron. Uh, gonna head along the north side of the lake with the south side of the Upper Peninsula on the Marquette Islands. Uh, that's how you say it. Um, first here, gonna go in, get some diesel, and get some water. I really don't need diesel, but uh, there's free water there, so I'll pick up like 10 gallons of diesel, a couple gallons of gas, and then probably, I'm guessing I've got like 10 gallons of water left, somewhere around that. Um, now, you know, I start with 45, so I'm gonna put probably 35 in, somewhere around there. Uh, so I definitely need water, um, diesel and fuel, not so much. So we're gonna head in there, take care of that, and then um, head back out. It's only gonna be like 18 or 19 miles after the gas dock, so it'll be an easy day. It's like 10.30 right now. Uh, so we'll make it in pretty quick and clean. It'll be a good day. It's a nice day. We've got winds south uh, 10 miles an hour and about to be passed by this big freighter out there. He's hauling it. back on the boat after a really frustrating gas stop um, stopped to get gas and diesel and water and the guy accidentally put uh, diesel in one of my gas jerry jugs so um, as you saw on that previous clip just got um, uh, the gas can loaded up onto my frame backpack I hiked into town got some groceries and got some 93 octane fuel to run through since that fuel just goes to the generator I'm hoping I'm hoping that we're not going to have any issue just with a couple drops of diesel residue. Um, so it's been a frustrating day today, none of which uh, I guess will happen again if I'm paying attention. So boaters beware, pay attention uh, to anything that's going into jugs. Uh, so about to get back out, heading south onto Lake Huron towards the Marquette Islands and then heading west towards Mackinac Island. Look, a boat with people on it. All right, guys. So um, after a little bit of feedback, um, I've been told I need to be a little bit more personable and uh, show you a little bit more of my life. Um, less like total sailing, just a little bit more about me, who I am. So. Um, I guess the best way to do that is uh, telling you a bit about myself and I never really made a real introduction so um, here's uh, a first go at it. So I'm from Columbus, Ohio and I uh, lived there most of my life. Went down to uh, Ohio University, go Bobcats, um, for uh, economics there and finished in 2015. Uh, economics was just my thing. I love microeconomics. Uh, I guess a lot cooler than macro however I got into finance at a small bank in Columbus um, and I was working as a financial uh, advisor so macro or working in the market was uh, that was the main thing that I was involved with and so uh, you know I got really involved with that I loved it went through all my certifications got them all um, it was just I had such a passion for so much more and I've always been an adventurous type guy I love camping love uh, getting out. I love going, you know, to the shooting range, swimming, hiking, anything outside, fishing, love it. Um, the biggest thing was between my junior and senior year of college was that I went to a ranch out in Wyoming, Spotted Horse Ranch, a fantastic place. I'd recommend it to anybody. And uh, it was really where I, uh, and I was out there working. I worked there as a wrangler. And that's how I got the name for the boat. I just uh, love that term and the idea and the adventurous spirit behind it. I was working out there as a wrangler and um, and it really just kind of kicked me into high gear as far as what I wanted to do and what I liked. Um, that's where I grew my first beard and my life's never been the same. It's awesome. Having a beard is awesome. It rocks. So, um, you know, I wanted to get out and uh, and really do it and I saw a lot of young cruisers online doing this 
and it was just so inspirational. Um, wicked Salty, you guys are my number, you know, I'm your number one fan. I've seen your stuff uh, too many times, you know, just learning from what you did right, which, what you could have improved on, what you did wrong. Um, and I'd love to see that you're back in the game now. It's awesome. So uh, I learned from a lot of other people that it is so possible to go and make this happen. So I worked and saved, worked and saved, worked and saved, and sold all my junk that I didn't need and couldn't take on the boat and geared the boat up in about 90 days, a little bit over, and then I set sail. So right now I'm living the dream. I'm living exactly what I want to do, doing it how I want to do it, um, just kind of being adventurous. I feel like I'm really out there, uh, I like a Lord of the Rings type thing, like a, like a true adventure. I couldn't think of anything deeper, or, uh, more interesting than this that I could do by myself. So originally I planned on doing this by myself and then had some speculation of having a uh, crew along with me, but you know, that uh, kind of fell short and didn't work out. So back here doing it by myself now. And um, the idea of getting crew involved down the road, I really, I like that idea. Um, I'd be open to it. I think getting adjusted to smaller quarters and sharing more space, including the bathroom, um, that would be, an adjustment but uh, I think it's totally possible so future crewmate whoever you are we'll see you down river so a bit more about me when um, I'm not boating um, back home I love to hunt I love to fish um, I recently got into uh, mountain biking so I've been doing that and brought the bike along with me I hope to uh, try out some trails along the way um, yeah I love getting out camping um, I love, uh, I'm a big uh, shooter. I love to go out shooting. Um, I think it's a big stress relief for me. Some people go to a psychiatrist. I just go out and squeeze off a couple rounds. So, you know, it's whatever really makes you happy at the end of the day and let's go stress. So, um, all my buddies back home, you know, all know who you are. We, all, we love to do a weekly bonfire. So, um, we go over to Cook's place and we'll go get a bonfire set up and uh, you know, drink some beer and roast hot dogs or brats or burgers, pork chops. I mean, cooking outside, living just outside as much as possible. That is kind of who I am. That's just what I like to do. Now, I like a hot shower and showering in the lake or a cold water shower down below. It, it does get old, but it's worth it. It's so worth it out here. All right, guys, heading over west towards the Marquette Islands and, um, I woke up this morning just to a crazy fog. So I can't see too far, I'd say maybe a quarter mile. So it's a good thing I've got uh, digital navigation. I love Navionics. It's a uh, a great app I think it's awesome I think every boater who's doing this type of stuff should have it uh, I know there's a lot of other uh, competitor competitive apps out there but um, I've been thrilled with this there hasn't been any setback on this except for what could be an add-on in the future a more community type level but um, I love Navionics it's awesome and um, and that's what's gonna get me there safely today so Navionic guys thank you so much and uh, I can't believe this fog is pretty crazy. So woke up here this morning to a huge thunderstorm. I'm in Government Bay, which is uh, just off of a small channel heading west through the Marquette Islands. And um, it's been just real nasty. Um, a bunch of rain. A lot of wind although a lot it's great protection in here so I've just been hanging out watching movies um, and just starting to make some uh, food so I want to show you guys making some man-sized pancakes and a uh, little sausage there what I use is um, pancake mix that doesn't require any eggs so I try not to um, get anything that I need to buy extra items for, so this is just mixed with water. Um, and that's what I'd recommend for other people too. Uh, eggs are hard to keep unless you have uh, you know, fridge and freezer and everything 
However, I don't often come by a place to pick up eggs, so. All right, good morning guys. Here at um, Mackinac Island. Um, it's been a couple days since I've done uh, much filming. Um, it's just been awful weather and um, usually when that happens things go wrong, which they did. And I'm really not in the mood to uh, film too much. But um, I'm at Mackinac Island so I gotta do some filming. I gotta show you guys where I'm at. So what happened the last few days is uh, uh, I went through west through the Marquette Islands. Um, really pretty, however, I had really bad weather and so it was pretty unenjoyable um, I woke up yesterday morning to my anchor dragging through a bunch of mud and seaweed and um, so when I tried to go and pull that up myself um, I had to put the uh, autopilot on and just a hair on the throttle forward um, what happened was my dinghy rope got wrapped up in my prop and um, actually shut the whole engine off um, so I redeployed the anchor but it wouldn't set because there's so much gunk on it. Uh, so I just had to jump into the water really quick and uh, you know, take a little bit of time and unwrap that prop. So um, it was about 64 degrees um, and it was early in the morning. So it's definitely not how I wanted to start the morning. Um, but we kept pushing on. Uh, I sailed through the islands and then got out uh, down here, uh, just south of the islands, touching into Lake Huron again. Um, and just 20 mile an hour winds out of the west northwest were just slamming me. Um, it ended up um, pulling my hull out line overboard and yet again into the prop. So that got chopped up um, and that needs replaced. I can still um, pull my front sail out of the Genoa out uh, probably you know 100 percent you know all the way back to the mast but it's 150 percent genoa so it should go a lot further um so need to replace that um and then yesterday here while i was at Mackinac island my dinghy rope got wrapped around my depth finder uh fish finder mount um and bent and broke that so um you know everything's just hitting the fan at once going up the creek um but i'm trying to have a good attitude about this this is an awesome trip um, I'm at a really pretty island. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it in. Uh, the holding here is just too rough. Again, with wind, <clears throat> again with winds out of the west northwest, um, there's nowhere to anchor around here safely, and I'm not I not going to go and pay to go into the dock there. That's just like uh, buying a hotel on boardwalk if you're playing Monopoly. Uh, it's just so expensive. Um, so I'm going to sail west, well, motor west today towards St. Ignis um, and see if I can anchor down in their harbor or their bay there. Um, they got a hardware store, a pharmacy, and a bar right there by the marina. Um, so I think I can take my dinghy in and go see the sights a little bit. So looking forward to getting over there. It should be like a three-hour motor. And then um, hopefully going to drop anchor, make sure it's set, maybe take a nap, and then head into town. So... Uh, Thanks for checking in. Um, here's Mackinac Island. There's an awesome cruise liner over there. That's the second one. We had one last night. And then here's the island. The Grand Hotel is way up over that way. I'll probably get a shot of it when we're heading out. Hey guys, wanted to check in here. Um, I made it to St. Ignace Marina uh, yesterday, probably about 12, 15, 1230. Um, I had an awful motor from uh, Mackinac over here. I was averaging about one and a half knots. Um, so I just was eating it and I've been tired and I hadn't had a good night's rest in several, several days. Um, so. I ended up getting a slip here and met the uh, manager or the boss here, Mike Singleton. Awesome guy. Um, he has been overly helpful in every uh, every instance where I've needed anything. Uh, we went out and got a beer and a bite to eat. Uh, got to hear a little bit more about him. Uh, he's a uh, awesome Coast Guard guy, retired Coast Guard guy, 21 years in, um, and uh, now he's uh, the head chief here at the marina. So, uh, Mike, if you're watching, uh, it's awesome meeting up with you, man. So this morning I just did some miscellaneous boat projects, got over to Ace Hardware, picked up um, some uh, goodies over there, 
Uh, there's a library in town here I'm gonna try to get up to and um, put some of these videos online. So I've just been uh, making some lunch here and I'm um, trying to make extra. Um, I would recommend to other cruisers out there. Um, food prep, try to get in that habit. Uh, it really makes it a lot easier, you know, come lunchtime and I'm out sailing all day. Just go in, grab some Tupperware out of the fridge and throw it in the microwave really quick. Um, I would really recommend that to people going hungry throughout the day or just having a snack bar really doesn't cut it. Um, and by yourself out here, I get hungry and I get angry or hangry. Uh, and that's where I, uh, I think I start making mistakes that way too. So um, food prep is something I'm new getting into and I'd recommend it to you guys too. So when I'm uh, connected to Shoreline Power or Adam Marina, I always use a hot plate to cook instead of propane. Um, I just figure why use propane if I got free electric or electric that I'm paying for. Uh, and so that's how I run this hot plate. Uh, so this is a Koozie Max um, double burner hot plate and it just plugs into the wall. So this is a 110 outlet or, or 110 appliance. And so I can boil rice um, just like four or five minutes here. And then I'm making some stir fry over here um, just to put it together. So back there is my rack for the propane burners that are just underneath here. And so I just swap that in and out anytime I'm plugged in just to save on propane. Me Patio is a restaurant right across the street from um, the marina here and they've got awesome food. I was over there eating and um, having a couple beers last night. Awesome people there, awesome food. Um, if you come into town, you have to check out Me Patio. It's right across the street from the marina. So I'm going to um, do some video editing, eat some lunch, and um, go into town and upload these videos. So the next uh, time I'll be checking in with you, I'll probably be... Um, uh, in Petowski or uh, Beaver Island there in Lake Michigan and tomorrow going under the Big Mac Bridge So really exciting. I'm having a good time. I feel rested up uh, Rejuvenated and ready to go here after um, staying at the dock. So um, Ready to go and looking forward to it guys. So we'll see you in the next episode